Hey guys, it's Audrey and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is super exciting because I'm going to be trying out a bunch of like products and random things that were recommended on TikTok. I'm sure you guys have seen a video like this, but I've been wanting to do it for so long just because I think it'd be super fun. And I went to the store and I've been collecting a bunch of things that I've seen on TikTok that I really want to try. And I'm going to be trying them and telling you if they're actually worth the hype or not. So I'm super excited to do this and I hope you enjoy. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new. And also follow my Instagram, it'll be on the screen. And also go buy my merch, it will also be on the screen. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and let's just get into it. Okay, so the first thing that me and Taylor are trying, we are doing the whipped coffee. So we just got this instant coffee from Target. So the first thing that you do is just boil water. So we're gonna do that right now. Okay, anyways, so we're making that whipped coffee thing on TikTok, and currently it's not working. I don't know what to say. We were using like an immersion blender because we thought it would go faster that way, but mm, it isn't. So instead, we are now using a whisk, and we have a timer, so we'll let you know how long it really takes. Yeah, so I'll show you what we're doing right now. Well, we're switched to the bedroom because we were being too loud in the kitchen. <laughs> But uh, it looks absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Put it under the light so they can see. So we're be it's it just been whisking around. See, it's it looks, not even thick. It's like, just still liquid, so we don't know what's going on. And then this is the timer, but a lot of that has been when we were using the immersion blender, so I don't think that's like an accurate representation of how long this is actually taking. <sighs> Maybe I'll lap it right now so that we can see like, now that we're actually whisking it with a spoon. What is going on? Hopefully this comes out good. If this is bad, I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah, me this too. Is taking too long. Okay guys, so it has now been almost 20 minutes. Um, it's been 11 minutes on the lap two thing that Taylor did. And this is our progress. I think it's actually starting to work. I don't See? know if you guys can tell, but it's definitely getting thicker. And it's lighter color. Yeah, Cause it was really dark at first. <laughs> but it's starting to get thick. So it definitely takes a while, but I made Taylor start <laughs> whisking because my arm is getting sore. Okay guys, so it's been 40 minutes, but we're officially done. So let's go make the coffee. So when we were mixing it, we tried to <laughs> find some tips because we weren't sure if we were doing it right. And I guess if you use cold water instead of boiling water, it's supposed to go faster. And if you have a mixer, that's definitely gonna help you go faster too. So those are the tips. So we have the cups and I think we're supposed to fill it up with milk and then ice, and then you put the cream stuff on top. Yeah. I don't know how to describe it. Like, it tastes just like an iced coffee, but it has kind of a little bit of thicker, like, texture to it. I don't know. It has kind of like a strong, like, coffee flavor. So if you don't like coffee, I don't know if you'd like this, but it is actually pretty good. Okay, guys. So I think for the final review, I would give this a seven out of ten it's good but i don't think it's anything like amazing and it literally took us 40 minutes to do <laughs> so that was kind of bad and i feel like you can make a coffee that's just normal that tastes just as good yeah i think it's fun to try if you're bored like we are but i don't think i would ever really make this again so it was good though 
so for the second thing that we are trying today are these deep pillars i me and my sister have wanted this for a long time so we just decided to get it and try out in this video but basically what it's supposed to do is get all the pilliness and like lint off of your leggings or sweatpants or old clothes because i don't know why but sweatpants no matter where you get them from they always get pills like on your butt and it's so annoying so i'm really excited to try this and i really hope it works and we got this from target it was like 15 bucks and i know you can get them like on amazon or bed bath and beyond probably so i don't know if you can see it but on these sweatpants there's like pilliness all over the back of them which is really annoying and i literally haven't even had them for that long so we're going to try it on this pair of sweatpants right here okay this is what it looks like basically you just rub this over the clothes and it's supposed to get the pills off i think and that's what it sounds like i want to like touch it but i don't know if that's a good idea okay so this is the before hopefully you can see the pilliness and i'm going to try it right now Ooh, it's making a sound Okay, I'm going to keep doing this on the rest of the sweatpants, but as you can tell right here, it's like completely gone. Okay guys, so here's the final result. I don't know if you can tell a difference. Like, I think there's definitely a difference in how it looks. Like, I don't see as much pilling and it's so much smoother. Like, I don't feel that nasty, rough pilliness anymore. So I think this is definitely working. I'm so happy. So now to see how much fuzz it collects, you like remove this little back thing. Hopefully this doesn't spill. Oh my. Yeah, it's like full to the brim. Ew, this is gonna make my dust allergies go insane. Okay, that is everything that it got out. That's so much, it's literally full. So I think this is definitely working. I did like every single inch of those sweatpants. So that's why it's so full but I give this a 10 out of 10 because it's obviously working. So I'm super happy that I bought this. And for the third thing that we're going to be trying, we are trying this e.l.f. lip exfoliator. I am very excited to try this and I've actually wanted this and heard of this like before TikTok. I'm pretty sure I heard of it like a long time ago from Kathleen Lights. I got this in the mint flavor just because I love minty things. But they have it in a bunch of flavors, so you can try everything. I have never tried an actual lip exfoliator from, like, a brand. I always, like, when I was younger, I used to always just make a DIY lip exfoliator with, like, honey and sugar. So I'll be excited to try this out. So this is what the packaging looks like. And then this is what the product looks like. It's basically just, like, a lipstick, but it has little scrubby things in it. I don't know if you can see it, but it is very rough when you apply it, but it doesn't like really transfer onto your lips, which I guess I kind of like because then like it, you can just use it as a normal chapstick, you know? And my lips do feel very smooth. Like I definitely think it's doing something. So I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10 because I don't think it's like amazing and makes your lips feel baby smooth. But my lips do feel really soft and it definitely does a good job. And this is literally only $4, so it's such a good deal. Okay guys, so it is later now. And for the last thing that we're gonna be trying out, I'm actually really excited for this. I'm trying out the Ordinary Peeling Solution Face Mask. I know you guys have definitely seen people rave about this. And I'm really excited to try it because honestly, my skin has not been the best. Like on camera, it looks fine, but up close, as you can tell, I have like some scarring there and I have like acne on my chin and I have like a lot of problems with like bumpiness on my forehead. I hope this will help me and I heard it just like really smooths your face. So I'm going to be trying this. Okay, so let's read the instructions because I do not know how to use this. So basically it says, clean face and wait for skin to dry. Do not use on wet skin. Apply evenly across face and neck. Using fingertips, avoiding the eye area. Leave on for no more than 10 minutes. I'm kind of like scared because I know this can be really dangerous, you know? It's 
smells like spicy. I don't know how much of this I'm supposed to apply to, but I'm just gonna like rub it all over my face. Okay, I just got my phone. I'm gonna set a timer for nine minutes because it's already been on for a little bit. But so far it's not burning too much. I've heard like it's supposed to burn a little bit, which I feel like a little bit of tingliness on my face, but it's not like painful. It just feels a little bit uncomfortable, but it might get more painful as time goes on. I don't know, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Okay, so it has been 10 minutes about, and this is what it looks like. It looks exactly the same, so let's go wash this off. So now let's feel it because it's supposed to make your skin very soft, I heard. I think my skin definitely feels softer. Like, I've heard people rave about this and be like, oh my gosh, my skin feels like a baby's bottom. And I think my skin does feel smooth. Yeah, it definitely does feel smooth. But basically it says, it's an exfoliating solution to help fight visible blemishes and improve the look of skin texture and radiance. I would say though, my skin does look very smooth, like just looking at it. So I'm gonna try and use this like every week. I always just use face masks or when I feel like it, but I feel like this could actually do something. So I'm gonna use this every week and hopefully it'll transform my skin. <laughs> so for a final rating, I would give this a nine out of 10 because I think it definitely does make my skin feel smoother and I feel like it could definitely help with like acne and skin texture problems. So. All in all, I would say that TikTok recommends some good products. The coffee was pretty good. It did take a long time, but it was delicious. To the deep pillar, that was really good. I used that like on literally all my sweatshirts. It worked so well. And then the exfoliating thing from e.l.f., that worked really nice too. It was like very exfoliating. And so did the face mask. So pretty much everything was a hit. The only thing that's kind of eh was the coffee because it took so long and it wasn't like mind blowing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought this was super fun and just cool to try a bunch of things out. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new. We are like growing so much and we're so close to 90,000, which is insane. So make sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow my Instagram if you're new as well. And also go buy my merch. It will be linked down below. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.